Hey guys, this time around I decided to show you different types of miniatures and how to clean them up and also the miniature that I'm going to be painting later on. So there's four main types of miniature you're going to get. The materials, there's metal, which is this sort of silver, looks white on the screen, um, and that's fairly standard. You can get some good detail on it, this is a particularly good miniature. Um, and yeah, but it's been used for decades to produce miniatures. They come, they usually come in multi-part. This one, on this one, the gun is separate. And the main issues you're going to have with cleaning up on cleaning up on these kind of things is, if I just refocus. For example, on the gun, you get these sort of vent um, parts coming off of bits. Um, they need to be cut off carefully, um, figuring out which parts the actual. Um, part of the actual miniature and which part isn't can be quite tricky sometimes. Um, you also get um, flashing around the edges on this one. There isn't actually too much, it's quite a nice miniature. Um, again, there's another vent sort of in there. I don't know if you can see that's a bit difficult to pick up. Just that bit of metal there needs to come off. There we go. Um, on this one, there isn't actually too much flashing that I can see. It's quite a nice, nicely built one. Normally, sort of, you get a bit sort of in between arms. If there's sort of holes in arms like that, or in there, sort of in, in gaps like that, you tend to get a bit. Um, but this one's particularly good. The other thing you get is where the two parts of the mould come together. And there's usually a line running around it. In this case, it's mostly predominant on the on the weapon here. Um, you can see if I can find it. difficult to find on camera at least but there's a, there's a piece running across the top of the gun there you might be able to see it and you can sort of catch your nail across it that needs to be very carefully filed down yeah there you go you can see it now it's running across the top of the gun there um, that needs to be very carefully filed down or it will become extremely obvious when you come to paint them these kind of problems are fairly standard for pretty much all miniatures. It's extremely rare that you're going to find a perfect miniature so learning how to clean up miniatures is pretty much required. Um, you also get plastic miniatures, um, in this case this guy's already been put together but they have similar they have similar issues. You get multi parts in this case the guy's um, arms and weapon are separate and then this chain that's attached to his wrist is also separate. Um, Plastic miniatures are usually fairly durable, they can be snapped, but the nice thing is because they're plastic they're very easy to uh, glue back together again. And again, this one's been cleaned up, but you'll get um, mould lines sort of running down um, the side that need to be sort of cleaned up. On these ones they also need to be detached from sprues and you'll get marks, see that sort of white splodge there, um, that's actually off a sprue where it's been cut off. Um, and you'll need to clean those up as you go along. Uh, is there another one? Yeah, same again at the top there. That's another. Hang on. No, it's not going to focus on it. There we go. There you go. There's another mark where it's been cut off of a sprue. And you need to be careful with those or they'll become extremely obvious when it comes to painting. You also get resin miniatures. And these come in usually a fair number of pieces, and they're usually almost usually pretty highly detailed as well. This is actually the miniature I'm going to paint for you. It's um, the second incarnation of Arfinil from um, Studio McVeigh. I'll put a link up in the description below. And the, these tend to suffer from similar problems. Um, boutique miniatures like this one, in, this one in particular, don't tend to have too many issues. Um, the main thing about resin miniatures is that you tend to get um, problems like, or sort of, not really problems, but things like this that you have to deal with, where we've got sort of this, this is this is sort of part of the base. It sort of stands in stands in there, but you can see there's this bit on the end that is going to need cutting off. Um, just sort of snip it off just to there so that it'll fit in the plug hole correctly 
and that tends to happen on a lot of things. Um, again, these two parts, you've got a you've got a hand with an arrow in it, and also the quiver. These are on a piece of sprue that will need chopping off carefully. Nothing too major though. Decent pair of snips, and you'll be all right. The bow, as you can see, has got a lot of things that need cleaning up. These bits are just random, I mean they literally just fall off your fingers, they're just sort of random bits of flashing from where the two sides of the mould sort of didn't press together completely and it's just, and the resin's just spread out slightly. There's also um, fluting, these bits will need chopping off very carefully um, and also this section here, these, these are where basically the resin's fed into the mould um, fed into the mould from and also sort of where air's allowed to escape so that sort of the mould fills up completely. Um, other than that, there's nothing too major. You do tend to get um, the mould lines that need cleaning up as well, sort of down down the sides of the miniature. They're usually fairly easy to spot. As I said, in boutique miniatures, you don't they don't tend to be too bad because the quality control is sort of that much higher. Um, but as you can see on this miniature, the detail on her is absolutely fantastic. You can see all of the detail on her belt and everything like that. There's all sorts of leaves in her hair and things like that. And you, and you can see this is against my thumb thumbnail, so you can see these things are absolutely tiny. Um, and yeah, so, and again, she comes in lots and lots of parts, as you can see. Comes in a, has a, has a quite a nice base, which is quite handy again. Needs a bit of clean up around the edges, uh, nothing major though. Um, and then sort of all the bits need sticking together. So to actually clean up miniatures, um, I tend to use three things. Um, mostly an X-Acto knife, um, or in this case a scalpel. Um, this is quite useful for sort of fetching bits of the uh, bits of the metal off, and also quite handy for sort of scraping off mould lines. Um, and you can do this on sort of pretty much any um, plastic resin or metal. Metal takes to it quite well. Um, and what I tend to do is just a sort of scraping action like this and just go round, round where the mould line is. And the metal comes up nice and shiny, as you can see. Hang on a sec. So there we go. So the metal comes up nice and shiny when you scratch it. It sort of takes the surface off. Um, for the most part, these kind of bits do tend to just sort of pop off, but you do have to be careful. As you can see, there's two sort of fairly detailed little bits down there, and you want to be careful that they don't um, that they don't snap when you when you sort of cut these bits off. So I also use a little pair of snips, and these these are quite nice because they've got a completely flat back on them, so that when you're doing the cut, you know that this side of the cut is going to be completely and utterly flat, so you can go in quite close and just snip off those little bits there and you can get you can get quite fine and detailed with them um, and then I've also got a file this is basically just a normal normal sort of file um, I've managed to wreck one side of it with super glue unfortunately it does tend to fill it in slightly but beyond that sort of once once you're done snapping and gluing bits cleaning bits up you can just quite happily sort of go in file up the bits clean them up and there you go so that's that's essentially how to sort of clean up miniatures there's, there's also a fourth type of um, material that you'll get which is a, which is a sort of resin plastic is not quite resin not quite plastic um, but you can treat it um, similarly to any of these in the in the way that you clean it up I tend to clean up miniatures in pretty much the same way um, I, know, I know that you'll find people who say you shouldn't be scraping plastic to clean it up, you should only be, um, sort of there you go, you can quite happily scrape bits of the plastic off. Um, you'll find people that say you should only actually sort of um, file down plastic and things like that, but that's the way I clean up miniatures really, it's nice and simple. Uh, next time around I think we'll be cleaning up our finial and sticking it together. Thank you.